Hi, and welcome back to the Museum of Oxford. This is my object. Now, when you've decided what sort of lighting you're going to want to use, either being not artificial desk lamps, torches, or natural, being the sun, or even wait for a really nice sunset shot, then you can sort of work out what angles you really want to use and how far away you are. You're almost like the perspective of the shot. Are you going to go quite close up or are you going to go quite far away? Now, depending on your chosen angle on how you wish to take your photo, can actually alter and change the shape of your object. So here's just an example of a low down angle with, with one of my objects using natural light. Again, just sort of having a play around, see which angle is going to work best for it. You know, would I rather have some natural light coming in from this angle? Unfortunately, that's actually putting his face actually in a shadow. That's causing a bit more of a silhouette. Or if I move him more towards that area, but then move the camera itself around, you should get some nice natural light on him to light him up. Again, using this technique, my object's not actually being, um, it's not actually changing shape at all, it's not distorting the shape whatsoever. So with the 2D objects, being it money or currency, or if you've got a photo or a painting that you're using, these can be, like I said, they can be quite tricky to take a photo of. So what I've actually got here is this, I'm just gonna just, this is like a layout. So this is how I'd kind of like to my photo to look. I've got the light coming in from the window, all being natural. And what I also can do, is take my camera off the tripod, walk it around and see exactly where I'm gonna actually, what angle I'm gonna choose to take it. Now, this hasn't really distorted the object as much at all, but it's just kind of make it a bit more creative. So the, where it says five rupees, is kind of where I'd like to ideally have it as like the main focal point. So that's why I want to sort of draw your eye into it. So again, just experiment and play around with the angles and see which ones actually work for you and which ones look better. Again, there's no time frame. Take your time with it. Or even if you see an object on how you on how you think, you know, I'd really like to take a photo of, let's say for example, of a camera. I'd love to take a photo of a camera. Most people will just take it head on, so this would be in the whole frame. You could also just turn it slightly, take it from a different angle. Just take a few more moments and just look at it and say, working out how can I make this photo quite unique? How can it make it more unique to me? You know, trying to stand out and being creative is great because you can have so many different photographers all taking photos of the same object and each one of them will choose something different because we all, as humans, we all think differently. And again, one thing to do with lighting as well, if your object is quite shiny, such as like a mirror or a photo frame, you have to always worry about the lighting actually reflecting off of it. So you could have a bit where you can actually have a reflection of you taking a photo in the photo. I mean, again, that's not a problem at all. If that's how you like your photo with, but just take it, just bear that in mind if you are taking your photo and go, oh, you know, I'm in that, or the sun's hitting one side of it and it's really sort of casting a really big reflection off of it. Just again, just you can just slightly move it just so make sure that the that the lighting is out of, out of that shot and you're good to go. Now, the orientations that you can use is one being the portrait, which you'd use mainly for social media, as i.e. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, for example, or you can go for landscape. This is normally how I shoot if I'm taking photos of, let's say, um, scenic shots of cities or landmarks, or if I'm taking ones of friends, family, or myself, which doesn't normally happen, um, it would be mainly would be the portrait way, which would be the social media way. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Make sure that you upload your work to the City Stories website, and I'll see you soon. Take care.